this is V and I am on my new craft table. Not fully set up properly, but uh, I want to do a recording uh, to see how it goes. I uh, hope you guys had a fantastic Easter. Um, mine was reasonably uneventful. I went to work. <laughs> um, yeah. But at least one thing I can say is I have work to go to. So yeah, I went to work, um, usual time, nice and quiet at work, a few things happening. Uh, so I actually had a, I actually had a very quiet day at work because not many trains were uh, reaching us because of something up track. So yeah, but um, yeah, um, new setup. I'm not happy with the way I'm set up here, so I will be um, having another go later on. But I thought, yeah, just a quick little whip and chat while I do this. Uh, see what the sounds like. See what the lighting's like. Do you need it lighter? Do you need it brighter? Uh, you know, all these things that you need to try out. You know, when you first start doing YouTube, you try all these things. You will still get the noise of both. Um, yeah, you, you do get the noise, you, you, you get things done a certain way and then you um, you work out what works, what doesn't work and gradually build from there. And yeah, I um, obviously I've gone and changed things. I'm in a completely different room with nothing up on my walls yet, and I will say yet. Um, some nice little comments on Facebook, or not Facebook, on YouTube in um, on um, whoops, hang on, I'm just trying to see if I can read it. My computer is like, well, basically the length of this desk away. Um, but yeah, I've had some nice comments and a little whip and chat that I did uh, and uh, Rachel Ray, <laughs> uh, craft your own tour will be a little while coming. Um, yeah, be a, a while coming. I have to get myself organised, uh, which, uh, what, um, just finished my third day shift, so that's Sunday. I've got Monday, Tuesday night shift. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've got five days off so I will have Wednesday till Sunday days off to sort this craft room up however before I sort the craft room up I need to clean up where my um, office is so um, for those that have heard my glass computer that used to take off and overheat I've, I didn't get rid of that computer. Uh, that computer is going back in the on my office desk. And <laughs> yeah, to be used as an office computer, not uh, as a, not for me to do this, because obviously the sound of aeroplanes taking off is um, enough to annoy anybody. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, but yeah, I need to clean that up and in the process of pulling all the cables up from my computer, uh, pulling them out, it was really um, the amount of drills on the floor. Oh my gosh. I keep, I walk around and it's like, so all these drills, because I could pull the desk out. And obviously all these drills that have sat under the desk, that have gone under the desk that I haven't been able to vacuum up. I've been stepping on them and oh my gosh yeah not not that good so I will be having to before I set the craft room up fully um, I will need to clean that area up uh, obviously I've got there's a bookcase right next to my desk which has 
a lot of the craft stuff on it you know all the stuff you need in easy reach so I've got to relocate that into here now and I don't have shelving in here and I don't think I've got enough cupboards to uh, deal with that so I'm gonna have to see what I can do about a bookcase or perhaps even relocating that bookcase we'll see yeah so I've got to clean that up vacuum get all the drills out oh my god has any of you guys actually what sit at a desk um, and move the desk and you see like fluff balls and all of that well there was not much in the way of fluff balls there was too many drills under there <laughs> so yeah have fun with picking those up um, I did find a couple of things that I'd lost <laughs> had a permanent marker a sharpie I haven't been able to find that for a few months yet found that one uh, mind I did didn't pull the desk all the way out but this time the desk will get pulled all the way out and uh, might find some more interesting stuff but I just uh, before I did that I needed to actually be able to sit down and drill because I diamond paint just about every day it's something that helps me relax uh, takes my mind off things um, but yeah still uh, I'm hoping that you like this angle I will say don't get too used to this angle because I will okay so I think I mentioned in yesterday's video I when we had the desk built I had the you know I said oh, I want the shelf at this height you know the middle shelf at this height so yep i got that wish <laughs> and my knees don't fit under the desk now which means i have to stand up unless i am at the end of the desk which is where i'm sitting now so my desk is actually running that way so the craft desk is that way um yeah the camera is going to have to be adjusted to another spot for um, going going forward but needed to get this done and get this out I'm going to try and do short whipping chats quick little ones little updates of what's going on uh, and go from there uh, instead of trying to struggle to do like an hour long whip and chat because an hour long whip and chat is pretty cool to do used to do it all the time without any issue but if I try and do some short ones maybe that will help me and it will give you guys something to listen to every day or every second day every third day uh, it is all about see how I feel I won't now, because I've had to because of the issue with depression I've had to watch my sleep and when I was recording videos during the day when I was on night shift it was affecting my sleep so they're the days where I can't record I have to make sure I whoops there's something just fell over don't know if you heard that hello boy bye bye hello buddy he's confused he's not normally allowed in this room oh, there you go sit there there's carpet um, but now that the craft room's there I'll let him in here now can we no I'm not going to move the camera I'm not going to move it so you can see him oh, no yes yeah, so the sleep Thing affected me so now I have to make sure that I prioritize my sleep when I'm on night shift I got to the point where I was only sleeping three maybe four hours if I was lucky the uh, what I've started being able to do is after from night shift 
well actually work a night shift I now instead of coming home and having a coffee and diamond painting and then going to bed I, I'm now actually coming home and just going straight to bed and uh, getting seven and a half to eight hours sleep and that's making a big difference so yeah what I'm looking at is trying to do some short whipping chats if there's not a short whipping chat um, probably be when I do a a uh, well that's not there we go um, trying to work it out the best way to put it it'll be something that I've done more uh, like uh, a kidding up for a uh, unboxing or some of my resin stuff when I get back into doing the resin uh, yeah so that's what I'm thinking at this stage see how we go but I need to I have been missing YouTube so I have watched a little bit of YouTube not watched much I was thinking about that on the way home today about the fact that I haven't seen much on YouTube and then I realized that I don't know a lot of what's going out on in the um, diamond painting community which is you know for me when I was watching YouTube all the time it was the only thing I was watching you know I knew what was going on in the diamond painting community uh, you could tell when somebody had said something wrong and upset another diamond painter another youtube diamond painter uh, and you know i will say i don't i don't miss seeing that side of what happens in youtube where uh, it's you know people talking badly about other people without but leaving innuendos on who it is um yeah I don't miss that but I need to get back and watch it watch YouTube see what everybody's doing uh, Rachel Ray uh, is doing the Easter I know that because I keep <laughs> I still watch Rachel's videos uh, what else what else oh Megan from uh, preschool teacher addicted to diamond painting she's back doing videos and cro cro I never get this right Crawler picks Crayola no it's, it's not Crayola picks Crawler picks um, she's recording again which is fantastic to see but you'll probably find now with people in isolation the time to do videos is probably smack up there lots of time to do it <sighs> but yeah so we'll see how we go how do you guys feel about me trying to put out a video um, short whipping chats you know just little how you doing tell me about your day you know drop me comments down below let me know what you've done for the day type thing you know so it's kind of a, a conversation it's uh that goes on with everybody and i'd love to be able to do that is just you know how's your day and then i'd like to be able to say talk to each one of you basically on youtube about your comments from the day before now that i'm got the craft room i can record quite easier and uh, i can <laughs> shut the door I don't know where the microphone's picking up, but I've got crickets outside. Uh, that's uh, hopefully you can hear that. It's still warm, still warm. It's uh, still feeling a bit sticky and uncomfortable around here, but no doubt the aircon will be on when we go to bed. Well, I think Nathan's got the aircon in the front room. I could have the aircon on in this room, but because there's still smell of 
cleaning fluid and two part epoxy in here um, I can't put the aircon on I just have to have doors and windows open because I put the aircon on and the smell goes through to the front of the house uh, which then puts the smell into the lounge room where Nathan is gives him a headache but then it also ends up in our bedroom and not sleeping with those fumes in our bedroom yeah. What else? Oh, security doors. <laughs> Nathan's, oh, today was his fifth day of being on leave. So first two days of leave, I was home and I got in to build the craft table. The third day, he went fishing. So they, even with the restrictions in place, they have actually been able to go fishing. I don't know whether it's class as essential but they're still within our region and there's only two of them on the boat which gives them that one and a half metre distance we do know that the fisheries officers and the police are out there with the mic not microscope binoculars making sure that you know they're counting counting how many on board and the you know for the size of the boat and all of that stuff so yeah spent he went fishing on friday so Wednesday, Thursday, made the craft desk. Thursday went fishing. Wednesday, Thursday, craft desk. Friday, fishing. Saturday, he got a headache and slept all day. And then today, we now have a security screen door <laughs> at the front of the house, which is brilliant. He did a really good job. Uh, it's all fitted in, but a couple of exceptions. Um, so his place, he's created a new door jams and all that. <laughs> and he turns around and he goes, you got something to do these days, off, your next lot of days off. And it's like, yeah, I know, I've got to clean up this mess and get the craft room sorted out. And he goes, no, you've got to paint the door jams. So uh, the timber that he put the, put the used on the to do the door jams and that is still raw timber. He didn't paint them before he put them up. So apparently, I have to paint them. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, so guys, I will say, you know, what's what are you guys doing? What are you working on? Um, share a bit of your day, how it's going. You know, I um one of the guys that I work with he travels a lot uh, he's very lucky he does he's had his he's been able to work basically part-time so he works one month on one month off um, but obviously in that month he works the same roster pattern as us and normally on one month he goes or he he goes away well he, he actually does he lives in South Australia but he travels he does hiking and that so he's come back full time so because at the moment to go backwards and forwards between where he's from um, he, he can't do it because of the travel restrictions and the restrictions of people coming into the state so <laughs> he's come back and I think he's on day nine, day nine or day ten, not day ten, he's on day ten of um, the quarantine in a hotel, so he's on day ten of a quarantine in a hotel, I don't believe his room's going to be very big and he is someone that doesn't sit still for long. So I'm wondering whether he's worn the carpet out there, but it'll be good to have him, have him back. Um, he actually is really good. Actually, the team I work with is really good anyway, but yeah, it's always good working with him. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit, it's about my day. How are we going? What is it? It's 10 o'clock at night. Yes, I've got night shift tomorrow, which means I can stay up. A, I'll stay up a little bit later tonight. Um, but not much later. I'll go to bed soon. I'll get a full night's sleep. And then get up and have breakfast and 
try and go back to sleep probably about nine o'clock it's the only time that i yeah i've just got to watch my swing what we call pajama day 24 hours we not at work uh oh yeah i might take you through some of what happens what we go what goes on but yeah please guys share with me what you've done what you're doing um any words of wisdom for anybody out there that's in isolation you're in isolation share your words of wisdom what do you what are your suggestions to people to help them stay sane besides just sitting there and dying in pain but i've just about finished the three tens in this area so just do a quick look nope a couple more yeah i know i've got a yeah I've, it's, i'm gonna have to get comfortable with this desk work out how to get comfortable and how to do things gosh there's two more i missed three more i missed so don't be prepared for different angles uh let me know what you think of the lighting i think i need more lighting uh i do have more in the room but i just haven't turned it on uh, and I reckon the sounds good. Sounds been good ever since I got my new microphone. But yeah, guys, I will say, uh, well, that's about twenty minutes. So I will talk to you later. Have a have a great day. And uh, look after yourselves. And uh, yeah, leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe. Keep up to date. You know, subscribe so you know what's going on. Join in the conversation. And obviously, hit the bell to be notified of uh, when I'm doing an upload. And bye for now.